Hi, my name is Phil and a warm welcome to Festival TV. Working with the DF500 and man-made boards to construct cabinets is one of the perfect applications to use the Festival Domino jointing system. And we can work with this system in a quick, easy way to form very strong and stable joints with these types of timber, domino timber dominoes. So the type of domino you would use is dependent on the thickness of the material. So for the application that I have here, I'll be using a 6 by 40 millimetre domino. So along here we can have the side, but also we can position a shelf or a fixed shelf along any, in any position along the side of the cabinet that we wish to choose. But we can also fix boards to form corner joints on cabinets as well, depending on the type of construction that's going to be used. So the first one that I can run through with you is, to ha is how to fix a shelf in any position along the side of the cabinet. So the first stage we need to do is to make sure that the edges are flush all the way along the side, and then we can clamp these into position. And the big advantage of working with the domino system is that we can, vary, uh, we can adapt the machine to suit the situation it's going to be used. So whether it's horizontal or vertical work, we can then adapt the machine. So with the 6x40 six by four, six by millimetre cutter fitted to the machine, we can then bring the fence up. So now we can work in the vertical position. But the big advantage of working with these stops is it will give me an equal spacing where I start the cuts for position the dominoes. But working with the domino jointer also means that I can reduce the amount of marking out that's needed. And of course, with any cabinet, I want to make sure that my dominoes are positioned equally to make sure we have good support on the joint. So my only marking out will be two marks along at 130 millimetres from the outside of each edge. And all I've done is just put a small mark on each side. And this will give me a centre line to position the domino with. The first cut that I make will be set in the tight position. And then any subsequent cuts along the side means that we can then move this to the open position. And this gives me a small amount of room with the domino to move it into position when the cabinet comes together. So first cut in this position, and then we can work our way along. The big advantage also working with the domino is that the distance from the base of the machine to the centre line of the cutter is at 10 millimetres. So I need to allow for that for any marking out that I do along the side of the cabinet. So the next stage is that we can put the plug-it lead onto the domino, and then we can start to make the cuts. And of course, depth of cut when working with this type of material is very important. So for the sides, we plunge at 15 millimetres, and for the shelf, it's going to be at 25. So with the side done, we can now bring what would be our shelf over to the edge of the board, clamp this into position, and then we can bring the front fence down, so now we can work in this position. The depth of cut for this is going to be at 25 millimetres, so a cut at 25 and a cut at 15 gives me exactly the correct depth of cut for using this 6 by 40 millimetre domino. So now we can do exactly the same again. I can then put the domino in the tight position. When I've made the first cut, we can then open this up all the way along the other side. And I can use exactly the same markings that I used for the vertical cut.
So now when we take what would be our shelf across the board, we've got the four initial cuts, and then the four cuts that I just made will also line up into position. And then the dominoes can go into the slot that we just made. So we can bring the two components together. And of course, the big advantage is that we, end, that we achieve a flush finish on our face edge of the material that we're working with. With reduced marking out, it means that we can work quickly and efficiently using the domino jointing system. So that's fixing a shelf into any position along the side of a cabinet. So the next stage is to move on. We can turn the board over and then we can start to look at how we can join two components together to form a corner joint as well. And for this type of corner joint, we can use two of the accessories to go with the domino. One of them will be the cross stops, but also the additional stop to fit onto the machine to aid stability while we're working. So you can bring the two components together in this position, and then we can clamp them down. So the first cut we, we will make will be into the top. So we adjust the depth of cut, or we keep the depth of cut at 25 millimetres. We can also keep the 10 millimetre setting for the height of cut while the domino in this, is in this position. And remember, I want to make sure that my dominoes are equally spaced all the way along. And this is a big advantage of using this cross stops. So we can fit these onto the base of the domino and lock them into position. And I've already adjusted the position of where I want to put the dominoes. And all we need to do is to undo the wheel at the back and then we can really accurately adjust these and have our domino in exactly the right place. So for the cuts we're going to make, I can use the two stops on the left and also on the right hand side. And these will go onto the edge of the cabinet for my first cut. My second cut, we can use this stud and this will then go on to the edge of the board. We can repeat on the left hand side and then that, part, that component has been cut. So the next stage is to switch the machine on and then we can make the cuts. So that would be the top complete and now we can have access to the side and now we need to work in the vertical position onto this component here. Make sure that work is clamped down and now we can work in this position with the domino. But of course as we're working in the vertical it means that I might need a little bit more support here and this is where we can use the additional st uh, stop to go onto the base of the domino. And so now what this, what this gives me is a bigger working or bigger surface area to work with, but it also gives me a lot more stability as well. So now while I'm working, I've got a machine which is stable to use, but will also be kept at 90 degrees to the work that we're on. And of course, the, bigger, the important thing to remember is that we can now easily adjust the depth of cut for the domino to 15 millimeters for this cut. Take the the width setting back to the first position so it's tight and then we can open this up as we work our way along. So next stage we can switch on and then we can make the cuts. Of course, the big advantage of working with the cross stops is that where these studs are positioned, 
is also directly in line with where the cutter is. So if you're working on a much longer board, such as uh, uh, timber, base, uh, timber materials, it means then that these studs can be used to space out the dominoes um, a lot further apart, and then you can work in that format as well. So two cuts have been made or for, for the two components, and then we can put the domino into the slots that we've cut. And then, again, we can bring the two components together. And again, the big advantage of working with the domino jointing system is that we're flush at the front, but also along this edge, we achieve a really good finish when working with the domino DF500. And don't forget, the big advantage also is that we have reduced amount of marking out, reduced amount of cleaning up after the work, Therefore, we work much quickly and efficiently with this type of machine. So, I hope this helps your understanding of working with the DF500, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.